Hi, today's good person to know is Jens. He's co-founder of Simple Show, which he started immediately after graduating from university with two other friends. They wanted to be musicians, but they needed to finance it, and so they did some production work. Their first client had a complicated piece of software, and they didn't know how to communicate it to their clients. But they knew that if they could explain it within three minutes, their clients would buy. So Jen took the approach of explaining what the customer could expect by using pen and paper, two hands and telling a story. Two weeks later, the client said his business partner wanted exactly the same model and their business was born. They now have produced over 3,000 videos and have an impressive client base and Jens maintains it's just pen and paper and two hands. He gives four tips as to how you could be a better explainer. One, change your perspective. Two, simplify the message. Three, tell a story. Four, visualize it. Now I caught up with Jens after his talk because I wanted to know more. How on earth did he get such an impressive client base? He very kindly gave me a demonstration of one of his videos and he told me how he's grown his business. This video is really inspirational for anyone who's looking to start a business. If you don't know what you're doing, you've come out of university or you've left your job, whatever it is, this is a really good video for you just to get inspiration from. So I hope you enjoy it and thank you for watching. Six years ago, I had absolutely nothing to do with learning. I studied at the Media University in Stuttgart, Germany, and I founded a company with two of my friends, basically to found a record label because we wanted to be a musician. We had to finance that record label, so we did some media production. One of our first clients came to us who was a producer of software, and he had a very complex software. He said, if our customers would understand our software in three minutes, they would buy. But they are IT guys, so they are experts in their fields, but they couldn't explain. They didn't have a product problem, they had an explanation problem came to us and said, are you able to explain our service in three minutes? And we said, sure we can. Of course we had no idea how to do it. We said, okay, if they are able to explain it to us in a bar and a napkin with just two hands and paper and a pen, we're more likely to get it instead of if they are started by talking about technical features. So what we did then was just doing a three minute video clip with paper and two hands and moving black uh, scribbles around on a, on a white surface and telling just a little story about the daily work of that customer without the software and then how the software changes the way that people work in the network. We didn't talk about technical specifications, just focused on the customer and explained that thing in three minutes just with two hands and paper. And a little bit of storytelling. That was the first paper clip we did. And after that project, we didn't think about it anymore. Two weeks later, that customer called and said he had a business partner who wants exactly a clip like that. Until now, we produced 3,000 of explainer videos for companies worldwide wow. to explain things, products, processes, and their clips are used in key learning, in change management, anywhere. It's just paper and two hands. Companies like Volkswagen and Audi, Boots, SAP, Adobe, Microsoft. You have three products in a row in the supermarket. The blue, blue one, the red one, the yellow one. And the blue one is able to communicate to you, to explain to you why you should buy it and why you benefit from it. You're more likely to buy the blue one. Even if the red and the yellow one would be better. The problem today is not having information available. There's a lot of information out there in, in those companies. The problem is to filter it and bring it down in a nutshell. Something you can take with you to become a better explainer. Rule number one, change your perspective. Nothing is ex uh, as difficult as explaining a topic as you are an expert. Rule number two is simplify your message. Don't talk about details before you talk about the big picture. Think about the why and the how. A lot of people are so bad at explanation because they don't know what an explanation is. A description is about the how. An explanation is about the why. Number three is how I started today. Tell the story. Because you're more likely to remember stories than facts. Rule number four is visualize. 
Use symbols. It's the most common one. This is the classical format, and it's really paper, so it's really used here. It's no trick. It's real paper, real hands, and yeah, we just told a little story about how that person acts, and what is the problem, what is the solution, and within two minutes you get the topic, and you really got how that reacts. And that's it, and that what this this format is used by a lot of companies worldwide for internal communication. And how did you go about getting your clients? How did, how did you get such a good clientele? Um, that's a question. To be honest, I don't know. <laughs> when we started in the beginning, it just was mouth to mouth, and then the companies were calling. And I think the most um, important thing was that they came back and recommended us because they were really satisfied with our service. We have the biggest um, base of customers in Germany, but these are mostly companies which work worldwide. We also got international companies like IKEA, American Express, Adobe, Microsoft. Um, so um, it's really international and right now we have nine localizations, uh, well about nine offices on every continent. You do? Yeah. Wow, so you've gone really quickly in a short space of time. Uh, yeah, <laughs> if you had told me that six years ago I wouldn't expect that. Just tell us a bit more about your business yeah. and how you started it and um, how you, how, where it is today. The, the good thing is that we were profitable from day one, so we were in the lucky situation of never having a funding for the first five years but uh, grew to a company of 100 people without any funding uh, because we just had a, a business model that worked out that well. Much bigger problem was to find resources which are able to understand and explain complex topics and these are very multi-talented people because they have to be able to understand topics, to write, to develop visual ideas and um, we really teach them in, in the Simple Show Academy and certify them. Why do you need yeah. funding? Um, that was because um, we, we grew about 100% every year. So we doubled the revenue and the number of employees every, every year. And now we went on the international markets and it's much easier to double uh, the number of employees from 20 to 40 uh, than from 100 to 200. And if you want to go on several markets from Japan to USA to Spain at once, you just need more capital at once to, to, to do that. I mean, we could have grown organically, but it would just take a lot longer. So.